So I've got a brand new pressure transducer option for you. It's 12 volt, so you don't need a 5 volt reference box. It's an absolute sensor, so it will read vacuum. And the price is right. And we'll start off by doing a wide open throttle crank and cylinder test. And we'll stop that. That's not too shabby. Look at the towers. There are no zigzags, no jagged edges. Very nice. Okay, so now let's perform a running in-cylinder pressure test. By the way, guys, the convenience of being able to do this from the driver's seat and being at the ignition, uh, that's courtesy of our HS402 Wi-Fi recently built here on the channel. Very nice. That's picture perfect. Look at the exhaust portion of that right on the zero line. That's one of the things I've noticed about that sensor. Atmosphere is one volt and it's dead on. And then the rest of the range is spread over between one volt and five volt. So over a large voltage range, I always like that too. The probe calibrations for this are already in the eight scope database as 12 volt bar and 12 volt PSI. Let's go in the studio and take a closer look at it. It may look like those other cheap 5 volt pressure sensors, but it is substantially different. Its range is between 0 and 10 bar. The power input is 12 volt, and the output is between 1 and 5 volts. They've conveniently labeled the red, black, and green pinouts here. It comes with a very good quality cable. Well molded here at the connector, better than most of these cheap uh, transducers. Uh, very supple, but uh, at 5 meters it's ridiculously long. Uh, it can be cut to length, of course. We need to supply our own connector hose. The channel has a couple of examples where you can make one out of a compression gauge test kit, or you can make your own using a 5 16 fuel hose and uh, chipping out the porcelain out of a spark plug. For the threads. We have to supply our own 12 volt power cord. I had to buy the alligator clips of course, but this is just a discarded 110 volt appliance cord, basically free. The three grounds are kept together. Battery positive goes to the red wire, and the green wire as a signal goes to the center pin of the BNC. Now it doesn't have to be this fancy of course, I'm just showing off here. But uh, if you have access to a 3D printer, I share the SDL file here. Here's the eBay seller I got this from. I'll post a link. I think at 25 bucks, this is a great pressure transducer option. These guys take care.